is radiofrequency ablation of varicose veins. Radiofrequency ablation of varicose veins is one of the heat techniques. It was the first one that came into the UK and it's what the Whiteley Clinic became famous for because we did the first radiofrequency, the first keyhole surgery operation for varicose veins in the UK and that was March 1999. And this is uh, one of the techniques, this is the, one of the catheters that we used in that first uh, set of patients back in 1999. It's now really obsolete. However, you can see it's an end electrode and then there's four little electrodes around it which, which when it's inside the veins, push together and the radio frequency current goes from one to the others just through the vein wall. And what that radio frequency means is the current alternates, it goes one way then the other way at radio frequency rates, so absolutely thousands of times per second. And by doing that, you can actually get a heating in the vein. The vein wall dies because of the heat and it gets eaten away. That technique has now been superseded. The company that made that have gone through several different generations, but now another company has come to the market and has what we believe is a much better product, and this is what we're starting to use now. And this is a radio frequency catheter with a very large electrode at one end, a small gap, and a very large electrode uh, just past it. As you can see, the catheter is nice and thin, so we can pass it up any vein uh, that we want. It can be a very long vein, like the great saphenous vein up the whole of the leg, or it might be just a tiny little vein that we need to seal low down in the leg. And using ultrasound, we can see exactly where it is. The alternating current at radio frequency rates go from one electrode to the other, causing a circle of dead vein, which the body will then heat away. And by pulling this down at a set rate, and also using uh, a set energy, we can get absolutely reproducible results to kill the vein on the way out. So how long does that process take? It depends really on the length of the vein. So if we're doing a very small vein, it might take a, a minute or two to find the vein with the ultrasound, to get a needle into it under local anaesthetic, then probably uh, a minute or two to anaesthetize the area once we've got this device into the vein, and then a minute or two of treatment. So the whole treatment it might only be five minutes per vein for very small veins around the ankle. On the other hand, if we had a very long vein up inside, say, the thigh, which say 30 centimetres long or 40 centimetres long, getting into the vein and anaesthetizing it may be 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes, then once we actually start the treatment, it's probably going to take six to 10 minutes to completely uh, heat the vein to the right level to make sure we've got a good closure. So when you add all the bits together, it means the treatment sessions are usually about 30 to 40 minutes long, which is just about as long as people like under local anaesthetic. What would you feel as a patient? Would you feel sort of tugging or discomfort? No, it's a very good question uh, because different techniques have different things, but with radio frequency, you you've just really feel the, um, the needles when you first start putting local anaesthetic and as it numbs away you don't even feel that and the actual treatment cycle itself when you're heating the vein because the vein is surrounded by local anaesthetic which uh, takes all the heat away it really is completely and utterly painless the patients don't even know it's happening is it suitable for everyone because the vein has to be in contact with the electrodes it's suitable for a lot of people. However, it depends on the vein. It's not the person, it's the vein. If the vein has any clot in it, if the vein has any scar in it, if it's irregular, and if you don't get good contact between the electrodes and the vein wall, then it's not suitable. So what we have to do is, when we do the duplex ultrasound scan, the vascular technology at the Whiteley Clinic are expert at saying, this vein is symmetrical, we can use radio frequency, or this vein isn't, we need to use endovenous laser or another technique. The radio frequency in the veins it's suitable for is very, very nice, purely and simply because the energy transfer is very, very mild, so you get exactly the heating you need for death, but you don't perforate through the veins. So there's minimal bruising, therefore minimal pain, and the patients really recover very, very quickly from it afterwards. In addition, because there's no lasers involved, it means for the clinic you don't need to wear the glasses, you don't need to have locked doors, you don't need to have any of the laser regulations for the theatre. So it's a very uh, useful technique uh, for patients as well as for the clinic staff. And afterwards, are you left with any scarring? For the techniques that we use at the Whiteley Clinic, there's usually a one scar, usually two to three millimetres low down in the leg, and that's where you go into the veins. And if somebody has very complex veins and needs two or three veins treated, then of course each one will have a two or three millimetre scar. But compared to conventional surgery of you know, a few centimetres, it's minimal. And usually after six months, it's invisible.